Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I am so excited about this video. This is a project I have been wanting to get finished and it's finally finished and it turned out so great. I can't wait for you to see it. Okay guys, let's dare to decorate. Okay guys, for a long time I've been looking for a new lamp for my dining room area. And you know I already have that large globe hanging lamp on the living room side of my open room concept. So I needed something a little bit similar, but I still wanted it a little bit different. You know, each side of the room has a different function. So I was watching one of my beloved YouTubers, uh, Miss uh, Suzanne Zalk. Um, by Quintense and I'm gonna leave the link to her YouTube channel down in the description box because you really have to watch it she usually goes to the houses of uh, top designers in the industry talks with them about how they get started in the industry their designs what influenced them but it's so great to be in the home the private home of these designers so you get little tips and why they design this and why they put that together and everything but this one particular video she was at a show house and that's when they take a big house and every designer gets a room and then has to interpret that area of the house in their style and she was in one area that was done by a designer. I got a clip for you. Take a look at this. Alexa Hampton, I wish you were here in person that I could hug you and tell you how amazing your room is, how taken I am by every little detail, and then of course the real topper are your paper lanterns from Chinatown. Only would you do this girl, totaling less than $25. What could be more perfect? for such a decorative, whimsical, fabulous space. Did you see that? I never would have thought about just putting some very cheap paper lanterns with all that beautiful, expensive furniture. So I said, wow, that could be a good idea just to have a touch of, you know, I always say you need a little bit of kitsch, a little bit of gaudy in every room. And if I could have something that was a little, you know, fun, a little playful in my dining room area, because you do want your dining room area to not be too stuffy, but friends come over, they sit there and they want to feel comfortable and have fun. So I went looking, Amazon and eBay. Didn't really find anything on Amazon, but on eBay, as I was scrolling through and scrolling through, I kept coming across these big lamps in different sizes, round, global, or the globus globe globe this big globe lamp shades but they were in this we say sizzle maybe you say sizzle rope almost like a rattan look and at first when i saw them i was like nah nah i don't like that look but then as i was scrolling there were so many available different sizes different forms and usually when i try to find something on ebay i may find one good thing it takes me a couple months before i find something that's matching to it and i knew i wanted at least five pieces to work with for this lamp so i said okay Listen, I have the chance to get a whole bunch of them really cheap. They were like 20, 30. I think the, the biggest one I paid around 54, all at one time to play with it, see what I wanted to do with it. And what also convinced me is I've been starting to uh, really like a lot of these dishes, dining dishes that are um, in these e-cut, uh, or maybe you say i-cut, but we say Turkish e-cut prints like the ecot fabrics and i was also thinking about getting a vintage turkish rug for under my dining room table and then i was thinking okay these sisal lamps they almost look like baskets and then i started imagining a turkish bazaar when they usually have all these baskets hanging and then these big beautiful turkish rugs and all these ecot and different printed fabrics and I was like, yeah, that could bring that kind of feeling of warmth in there. I already have some Asian artifacts. I said, maybe I'll get some African ones, some Moroccan ones. I've always, always wanted some Australian Aborigine artwork. And I'm thinking, too, I have friends from every walk of life, every ethnicity, every culture, all different corners of the world. Why don't I 
just do my dining room like that that when my friends come and sit at my table and break bread with me, a little bit of something represents all of them from the world. So I ordered them. And as you see here, here are all the different lamps that I ordered, different sizes. They're in great shape. All of the Cezal rope is in good shape. No tears, no holes, no anything. They all are ready to go. Just need to be vacuumed up and make sure they're not dusty. FYI, if you can't find these lamps, I'm going to leave two links down in the description box where I saw YouTubers that made, handmade lamps similar to these. Main problem now was, how was I going to hang them? So I went looking and looking and looking. It took me a while. At first, I wanted to maybe just get a smaller mount that had five cables, and I was thinking about stringing the cables with hooks at different distance from the middle of the room and in different heights. But then I got really lucky. I went to one of my favorite concept stores. I'll leave his information also down in the description box, and he ordered for me. Look what I found, guys. I got this huge 50 centimeter in diameter mount with five cables, one cable hanging in the middle, and it leaves me enough room that I can maybe get all the lamps to hang down straight parallel instead of me stringing them out on hooks away from the center of the room. So now was the task of getting this hung up. I already had a lamp that was hanging there, which of course caused extra holes to already be in the ceiling. And I know I'm going to get in the next couple of months a larger dining room table. So first, I got busy measuring out on the floor about the size of the new table I want to find the center, center of the ceiling, center of the room, how that was gonna hang. Yeah, of course, to cover up those holes, I did have to use a little bit of spachtel and where the lamp lamps were hanging before it was a little bit of dirt but I was able to clean that up and luckily I didn't have to paint because I was scared if I had to do some paint touch up I might have to paint the whole ceiling and here you see is hanging up if you see any extra holes that's because we hit something I think a beam and we had to rethink it a little bit but we got everything up okay now we got the mount up the light and the first thing we did here was we just wanted to see how high we wanted the middle largest lamp hanging. I think we got it a good distance. So now I have to play around and see how I'm gonna hang the other ones. Okay guys, here's the test of my electric or my husband's electric work. Let's see. Let there be light. Cool. Get in here a little bit further. The first one is done. Have these really cool Edison bulbs underneath here. Can you see that? I've marked here on the picture of the lamp mount for every cable, how long it has to be hanging from the top. Okay, then of course we had to take it back down because I had to pull the cables up through the top, secure them to make sure they were hanging exactly how I want it. Let's hope I can get this on the first try. Okay, this should be easy to hang all the lampshades. They already come with the needed metal piece at the top because the lamp mount that I bought already has the light sockets on it. I just have to push the lamp sockets through the top of this metal piece, screw the cap underneath on, and they're ready to go. It was the easiest installation. Once I got everything how I wanted it, and everything was hanging to the length I wanted. Actually putting on the, uh, the, the lamps were easy. In, screw, done. Okay guys, everything's hanging. We're done for today. Unfortunately, I'm missing three light bulbs, but you see how everything is hanging. I got it pretty much like I want, and I'll see you soon. Hi guys back with a little bit of update i have got now the three bulbs that are missing on the top but before i install them i wanted to come in and give you guys a little bit of the update it had always bothered me that this cable was hanging a little bit out because it had to go around the larger lamp in the middle so i had the idea can you see it can you see it right there? I threaded the cable through 
the sisal roping of the larger lamp and I love it. It gives it a more organic shape. It looks like they're somehow connected. And then I went in and did a little bit millimeter work of perfecting to make sure I have the same distance here between all the lamps as there. They're still free enough to freely move, but I have them so it looks like they're touching, but they can still move freely. And then I went up, also did a little bit of millimeter work, lowering and hiring the lamps to make sure I had a perfect like distance between the upper lamps. I love that I did this. Like I said, it works more organically. And now all of the cables hang perfectly parallel, straight down and wow. Okay, I'm going to put in the light bulbs at the top and I'll come back with the final after shots and pictures. Okay guys, are you ready? Drum roll, the reveal. I am in love with it. Like I said, I have those Edison style vintage 1906 bulbs in there. I think it gives it a beautiful warm light. I absolutely love how it turned out. I was a little bit uh, scared that uh, it might clash too much with the rest of the decor in here because of course I do have the open room concept, but it works perfectly and is exactly how I imagine. It looks like a mirage of baskets mounted together and I can't wait until I get the rest of the decor and the dishes and all the other cultural and ethnic and world treasures that I wanna put in here. I must say, out of all of the projects I've done so far, this is by far my favorite. And I am so proud of what me and hubby did. I just can't get enough of it. I cannot wait until this whole world situation is over and I can start inviting friends again for lovely dinners in my dining room and we all sit under this beautiful piece of lamp artwork. Yep, yeah. hi guys. Like I said, this turned out so great. I am so happy. This is my favorite project yet that I've done, but many more are coming. So make sure you subscribe. Give me that thumb up, give me that like, turn on your notification bells so you know when my next videos are coming. And let me know in the comments what ideas you have for DIY. Maybe we could do them together. And don't forget, I have an Instagram account, Dare to Decorate. I always post my projects and inspiration photos and maybe ideas I want to incorporate in my design. So stop by, say hello, follow, and I'll see you next time. Bye.